Glioblastoma is a common brain tumor. It's the most common cancer that you can get in the brain. Um, and it remains a very lethal brain tumor. It's incurable. Being able to identify drugs that effectively reach the tumor and change outcome, prevent its progression, prolong survival is really quite critical. The study shows that there are compounds that can attack the metabolism of the tumor cell and as a consequence reduce the growth of the tumor cells and hopefully this could be a therapeutic option. So we looked at a gene set that is altered as a consequence of the disrupted metabolism of the cancer cells in glioblastoma. We then used what's called an in silico drug screen approach which essentially takes the drugs that we already have in practice and see how we can repurpose them. According to the gene signature of these cancer cells, a number of compounds came out in our screen. And one of them that we know and investigated and proved that it impacts the metabolism of the cancer cells are the azoles. So it could be ketoconazole, posoconazole, etc. And these are typically used as antifungal agents. And the reason to pursue them again is because they have been in practice we know that they cross the blood-brain barrier and do have an effect on brain pathology. To put it into perspective, there's very few drugs for glioblastoma, um, almost none, that are FDA or Health Canada approved outside of the traditional chemotherapies that we use. Being able to demonstrate that there is a drug or a compound that can actually have an impact to extend survival, prolong living with a glioblastoma by even a few months is quite impactful in the field.